You can load all sorts of different files into Circa, as long as they're files that have rows and columns and are either comma or tab delimited or possibly also with spaces, I think will work. I'm just gonna drag one of these files in here so we can take a look. So this is a genome file. This is what you need in order to start each new Circa plot. This is where you have the chromosome names and you have the sizes of each chromosome. And these right here are tab delimited. And it can also be comma delimited. It'll figure that out on its own, actually. You just have to put it in there and it'll automatically parse it if possible. And if it has any issues, it'll tell you and then you will know that you can just put it into a tab or comma separated format like this one. You do need to have a header for every single file and you can always go in and enter that in the file yourself. So if this file didn't have a header already like this, then I could just go in and actually add a header. So I'll say chromosome, if I can spell, and size. And now I've saved it, so now we'll definitely be good once we load it in. Another file that we can look at, this is a bed file of structural variants. Let's drag that into text edit as well. And I'll open that up. This one's a bit more complicated, as you can see. And these are just different variants. Again, we need to have a header. And we have all these different pieces of data in here. So the way that you always want your data to be is that each column is a variable. And you're gonna pick some of these variables like chromosome, some kind of position, like a start position or a stop position. And sometimes you might need one that's like a size or something else you can plot as a Y coordinate if you're plotting like a scatter plot, an area chart or a line chart. And so that's what you need here. And so the columns are variables, but the rows are the things you're plotting. So if you're doing a scatter plot, you'll get one dot for each row. And if you're doing a line plot, you'll get one point on the line for each row. Same thing with an area plot. If you're doing connections, you're going to want something that has two chromosome uh, and position positions. So this is a bed file and it's just like a tab separated file. It could also be comma separated, that would be the same. Uh, the third kind of file I'm gonna tell you about here is bed PE file. I'll drag that in so we can take a look too. This is a bed PE file, which has a chromosome start and stop all labeled one, and then a chromosome start and stop in the second position on the genome. So these are long range variants. And here we would be plotting from the first chromosome to the second chromosome. Again, tab separated, always got to have a header. So that's what your data can look like if you want to plot it. If your data is not in this kind of neat column and row format, you just have to get it there. And that way you can basically do anything. If you notice this one is because I was testing something. I was trying to see what would happen if I put in some fake variants that are on alternate chromosomes and those actually get filtered out. So it'll show you how many points it's ignoring because of issues like this where the chromosome names don't match. So Circa does all this stuff for you. You just have to get your data into a tab or comma separated format with a header that makes sense and then you're good. That's all you need. Um, I even have support for VCF files. Let me see if I can find one of those. I'll drag out one here. So we have a... So we also have support for VCF files. And these look really funny. You shouldn't double click them because they'll try to add themselves to your address book because VCF is how they do contacts on a Mac for some reason. And so this is what a VCF file looks like. This is from Survivor and what I do with VCF files is I parse them very differently. So they're not getting parsed just by tab or comma separated. If I did that, you would only end up with the first several columns here. But I know that there's a lot of information in this info tag. So these columns right here where you have uh, sup equals three, average length equals something, SV type equals inversion. These things I'm actually parsing in Circa. So you're going to get the first columns here and then you're going to get tags. You're going to get different fields that look like info colon average length and then it'll say that number. And so that's how you can actually still get this information out. If something goes wrong with that, you can always go and process this yourself using Python or something and break it into a nice neat tab or tab delimited or comma delimited file, and then it'll always get parsed correctly. Um, 
But to help you out, the VCF files do get parsed in this way already. And so that's just going to speed up things a little bit so you don't have to reparse it yourself every time. So that's it for VCF files. So I'm going to show you how to take an Excel spreadsheet and export it for use in Circa. So here we have a spreadsheet with a bunch of different variables in it. You do have to have the data be very neat here. So the top row is a header and then you just have data here. So each row is going to be a data point when it's plotted and you have variables across the top. So you just want it to be very neat like this and you want all of them to be kind of filled out. And once you have that, you can just go to Save As and then just from this menu, I'm going to switch it to Desktop. From, the, from this menu down here, you pick CSV and I'm going to export it to my desktop and you can see that the extension here has changed to CSV. I can also hide the extension here. So if you're not seeing it, that's because yours is checked. And then I'm going to save that. And now if I minimize that, I can go out here and look. And so now I have an Excel file and I have a CSV file. And if I open the CSV, you can see it looks like a table. So that's all you have to know about file formats in Circa. For more tutorials and FAQ and a gallery of examples, go to omgenomics.com slash Circa.